Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the last video we have created this master child PPMN uh, or you can call it the parent child because this parent is calling this message in end event and starting this message start event to another PPMN and we have added this test uh, user task to see if uh, the event is coming or not. Uh, one small thing which we need to improve first of all uh, we I mean few things which you need to uh, a check before even deploying this that this is a message and event and uh, this is the message name action service right so when you go to the child the same name should match for the message name because it's like a mapping we are doing and from the master uh, we are calling we, I mean this is a comparison we are doing service is service one then we are going to call this message and event otherwise it will go to this manual user task now how these two two message and event how this message and event is going to make call message start event right so earlier we did put something else in the expression then it was not calling message and event was not calling the message start event and i explored it on the kamunda forum and i found out that we have to put the expression something like this to invoke the message start event okay execution dot get process engine service get runtime service and then create message correlation and this is the actually the target uh, bpm in which we are going to call action service and correlation with result here if you wanted to populate uh, some data like if you wanted to populate some variable that also you can do like you can say the test and here i can say let's add some variable here so you can call create message correlation and here you can add a method which is set variable okay set variable let me just zoom it if it is not visible so what we are doing is we are just adding one variable also with this that variable test is Okay, so this is my variable name test and hello. This variable name will be passed to uh, my child BPMN when this message end event is invoking message start event. Now we can we can deploy this. This is a master BPMN. Let's save it first and deploy it. This is deployed and we have this child BPMN. Okay, from the master BPMN. We are setting up one value which is let's say test and test is hello right so what we go is we'll go to child bpmn and here the condition we can change i think test is hello then it will go there okay and deploy our child bpmn now we are good now uh, we'll just call our master bpm and through kamunda so this is our task list and from this we can start uh, process master process and we have to pass a variable right uh, variable is a service let's say if you are passing a variable something else not service one test because we have the condition here if you are passing the variable service one then we are going there so let's go to the master and here we can see right because there are two flows in the master bpmn if we are passing service one otherwise it will come here and you will go to the check data okay so in the next execution we are going to pass service one for now we'll just complete this user task we we'll go to or we'll just delete the process instance that is also fine we'll go to task list and run this again with the, the required input the master you can add a business key and our variable name is service it is of type string and the value is service one we we'll start this once you start this let's go to cockpit and see 
uh, this is master and it should it, now it should be invoking the child process and you can see the child has been invoked and you can also see the variable test is coming as hello right so we can actually mark this complete this user task we already have this test hello uh, we just claim this and if you wanted to add some variable while claiming you can do we already have this variable now it should just complete this yes now we are on the user task that is uh, that is expected right because this is now completed and from this gateway uh, I mean from this decision uh, we have the condition here if you see in a child if your expression is matching up with uh, test hello then it will go here okay so overall what we have seen is how a message end event will call the message start event and we can have these kind of a layered structure here like you might be calling this message end event and just convert this to message end event and you might be calling some another bp1 based on the different set of conditions right and you convert it to message and event right so you might be getting some input from your services and based on that you are deciding okay i need to call this i need to call that and you can also set the variables this is important this expression is important this is how you will pass the variables whatever you have received down to the message start event which is your child one okay so this is how the communication helps now we can also talk about the sub process call activity or a sub process in the coming videos uh, thanks everyone